everyone, welcome back to the Hero Coliseum Tournament. My name is Robo, and today we're watching San Santana vs. Kid in the Losers Bracket. Didn't think I'd be putting Santana and Losers in Bracket in the same sentence during this, but here we are. So we've got two very slow defensive teams, by the looks of it, with a good 0-1 skill user on each side. Uh, I'm liking Kid's deck, the double UI Goku, which I believe I talked about earlier in the tournament at one point or another, so it's nice to see somebody uh, actually using one of those decks. I think there's a great balance between using the two of them. So, this is going to be a boring first turn, because it's going to be Piccolo Vados on this side. Ooh, Piccolo UI on the other. Is he running O2 skills on them? I'm not sure. No, it doesn't look like it. I was expecting the Whis to go down as well. Um, Santana could lose his, uh, his Piccolo here, actually. I think, actually, I think I get what Kid was planning here. He wanted to guarantee going second. So by only putting those two down, he would, and he knew that Vados would be going down there, so she's no threat. So if that was his plan, then I've got to give him credit for that. I think that was a very good plan. Because with Whis down, I think he'd have outsped. Yeah, that's, uh, <laughs> that's about what I expect from Vados. She really doesn't provide the damage, but she doesn't need to. She's there to stop you uh, just getting absolutely obliterated by stuff with 10k plus attack. How much is Bardock going to do? Bardock, you'd be hitting them numbers, don't you? God damn, that hurt. What about Piccolo? Can he... No, there's not quite enough. He gets the counter, though, so the next hit definitely will kill Piccolo, but that's not enough. That's pretty big. Uh, UI Goku will get the first attack. So I assume it's the 2k HP one. Yeah, so he's going to hit hard here. 7-5. Oh, nice counter. That's that's not massive, but it's big enough that it gets a bit of damage onto the Bardock as well. So that's not a massive counter, but it's a good one. So Kid's got a nice little advantage off of that. Yeah, 3k. That's that's a good uh, good first turn for Kid. Well played. Like I say, if that's what he was planning, that was a very good first turn from him. And this is where everybody running Piccolo decks, it kind of falls apart for him because now they're actually having to wonder, oh crap, what the hell do I do now without my Piccolo? Because you now worry about leaving a lane open. I'm guessing Kid in... We'll put down his Whis this turn. Probably UI. Maybe both UIs. Yep, there we go. Again, a good move. Uh, I think it was pretty obvious Santana was going to stick UI behind Vados. It makes sense. Uh, it's as simple as that. It ensures that anything in front of Vados is going to die. So Santana's going to want to go first here. Yeah, he has to. Because otherwise he's going to lose Bardock and take a little bit of damage on Vados. That's not crucial, but... You don't want to take him damage unless you have to. So, Whis will die. Will UI? Because he's put his HP one down, obviously, in front. Will Bardock have enough? That's 10k. He'll need a counter. Even then, it might not be enough, actually, with the Whis on the field. Let's see. Wow, nowhere near enough. I expect him to put a bit more than that on the board. No counter. Oof. Wow. Then again, I didn't see what skills Santana was using, but Santana is looking rough for him now. He's he's falling back, basically. Oh, Santana's using the HP UI Goku. Okay. I thought he had the attack one. Now it makes sense why he only did that amount of damage to Whis. Right, how much is... Uh, that? <laughs> oh, that's pathetic damage. So Bardock's bit the dust, obviously. No surprise there. Yeah, Kid's looking pretty good for this. What a great time for a plane to be flying outside my window. Ooh, Santana's got that alternate, but... Kid running that double UI, you see. It's a really good play. Yeah, Santana's got to do this because he has to protect his UI Goku. Sort of his O1 skill user there. 
Because if he dies, he's got no chance. He's taking a risk here, because if uh, something goes down the middle, he could kill that UI Goku there. But, on the other hand, if he leaves it open, he could die without uh, reducing the master to below 12 and a half. So, he kind of has to go for this and cover each lane. Kid, I'm not sure what Kid will do. He'll obviously have his HP UI Goku do go down there. Um, he could go with Piccolo with UI behind. No, he just threw UI Goku down the middle as well. My guess is that Kid was gambling on Santana leaving the middle open and basically going for a UI Goku uh, one shot to end it. <laughs> and it could have worked. Let's see, Santana will go first because he's got the speedy UI Goku down on the field. Uh, he'll pr he might lose his own UI Goku for it though. Sort of the uh, the one that reduces ultimate attack. Yeah, this is this is not a good position for Santana, and he's got to get damage on the master. That's the thing. That's the harsh reality with this ruling of getting the master below twelve and a half k. If you can't do it, you're in trouble. That also do nothing here. Six hundred eighty-two. <laughs> Santana's getting kind of my luck here, where Vados always gets counter-attacks. She does for me. Literally every turn she'll get a counter. She does jack shit damage, but she always gets a counter. Yeah, his, his UI Goku isn't going to kill that, but... Actually, neither will, uh, neither will kids, so... Not much will honestly have changed. It's just kids lost his UI Goku, but that's really no big deal in the grand scheme of things. Because he still has this one. Every deck, I think, has to run a UI Goku. He's just so good. Nice. Another counter for Kid. Not that he needs it at this point. But every deck needs to run a UI Goku because they're just so good at shutting down O1 skills. And mo a lot of the decks we've seen have had an 01 skill user. Both of them here have one. Which you can't blame him for. It's a very good strategy to go for if you can get the ultimate gauge. Now they both have ultimates, though. Oof. Um. Okay. Santana played that very well. He actually played that incredibly well. Kid's got to play this careful. I think he will just put the Piccolo down, I think. I don't think there's any reason for him to risk his Gohan yet. Because, here's the thing. Whis will kill the UI Goku this turn, which means that uh, Santana has no way to really stop the uh, future Gohan 01 skill. Let's see what he does. He's obviously undecided. Oh, he threw Future Gohan down. Okay. Hmm. If he was going to throw Future Gohan down, I'd have put him behind Whis. There's no way that Santana could have one-shot uh, Kid this turn. So, I think I'd have been tempted to do that. Ooh. That's really big as well, actually, because that means that Whis will kill UI Goku before he can do any damage to Whis. So it's going to be Vados and the speedy UI Goku correction. It's going to be <laughs> it's going to be speedy UI Goku on his own against four figures. One of which is future Gohan. Santana, you're in trouble, man. I don't see how you're going to get out of this one. Because he's not got the option for the 01 skill. And he has to do 12,000 damage to the master the next turn. This is big. He's got to kill UI here to have a chance. Oh, he doesn't. Ooh, that's, um, that's rough. He's against four figures now. I don't see any way he can actually win. 
If all kid needs to do, hmm, how much has he got? Oh, okay. Interesting. I wasn't expecting that. Um, this could be it. I can't see. I can't see him living. I can't see Santana living this because. That ultimate is not going to kill Gohan, I don't think. Because what does what's his skills? He's going to have what about six, seven, twelve, eighty percent of that, twenty-four. No, I don't think he's going to kill Future Gohan. I think he's going to live with about five hundred HP. No, he kills. Oh. Okay, how much damage does Whis do here? Nice one, son. Oh, 6k. And that. Well, Santana, credit to him. He's taken this to game two, possibly. He's given himself the chance. He's got to put UI Goku on the left. And hope that he the kid just plays Whis where he is. Because Piccolo's obviously going down. So let's see. What does he do? God, Santana lived with so little. <sighs> oh, Santana's got a chance of taking this to game two. That 5k onto the Master HP is going to make it difficult, though. This is going to be close, guys. This could this could be a one matcher. This could just be one match. Santana could bow out of this tournament in just one match. He's going first. Now it's just a case of how much damage he can put down. Come on, make it game two. I only say that because I'm sick of having one match it sort of uh, <laughs> one match rounds. Oh, it's not enough. Oh, the clutch counter. Okay, we're getting a game two, guys. Whew. That's uh, that's a little close for comfort. Uh, <laughs> Well played, Santana. Um, that was close. I think uh, Kid maybe outplayed himself a bit there. If he'd have put just Future Gohan down, the turn that uh, UI Goku went down for an 01 skill off. Okay, so Kid takes round one. It's now all for Santana to do in game two. Right, here we are with game number two. Santana has to bring it back in this one. He is 1-0 down. Very close to being a straight 2-0 in the first one, so... He's got to recover. Oh, he's going with this blue Gogeta again. And Kid coming out with another very defensive deck this time. We and Vados with the Piccolo there. He's got some nasty hitters there in the future going for the 0-1 skill. I'm not a fan of that Gogeta. All right, so Santana's quite clearly targeting the Vados on turn one. Um, is it worth the Vegito? I don't know if it is. Is that worth the risk? I don't think uh, it is first turn. I'd, I'd have been more tempted to just put Bay 18 down, maybe. But it's quite obvious what he was going to throw down. The Piccolo, the Vados, and then... The blue Goku, so I was predicting that. I don't know. I don't like throwing away a Vegito like that. Vegito is such a good figure. To just lose in first turn like that, I don't know. We'll see how much damage sort of Trunks does, because that will then basically say whether Bay 18 could have been used instead. Because if he does enough damage, because it's not the bulky version of Vados, I believe. I think that's the speedier version. So let's see. How much does Trunks do? Two six with a counter. If he's thrown Bay 18 down, he would have actually probably killed with um, with Bay 18 and saved his Vegito. 
That's just my personal opinion. Uh, like I say, Vegito is such a good figure that to lose it on turn one like that, Vados is a good trade, I'll admit, but. Cool. Vegito only just about managed that, really, but. Uh, can Piccolo get the revenge kill up here? He should be able to. Not quite. But the counter. Ooh, kid's getting some. Getting a couple of nice counters here, but Santana did at the end of the last one as well, so... Luck goes back and forth usually in this game. This should be an easy, uh, easy slap. 13k, that, that blue Goku is really good. Just like I say, he gets overlooked because of the, uh, the blue Vegeta that triggers back there. Ooh, just going with the 0-1 skill trunks this time. Hoping that he leaves that lane open, I guess. If he was going for the 01 skill, I'd have gone for Piccolo and just try to get rid of him. He's the big problem right now. Easy outspeed, but God, he's going to take some massive damage this turn. He's probably going to have less than 10k Master HP after this. <laughs> okay, Shareplay. Shareplay has said that on almost every single match so far, so... That's good. Uh, a good sign. Yeah, that really wasn't worth the trade-off. Yeah, he's... Uh, Santana's going to be in a rough spot again. I mean, yeah, he's got the Bay 18 there to lock him in place, but the Blue Gogeta doesn't really count as a figure, in my opinion. I don't like him. I do not think he's a good figure. I, I know he's got speed, but... Just go Future Girl. He's a much better O1 one skill. Holy crap. That's a lot of damage. Santana does have an 01 skill ult right now available to him. Plus, of course, there is no UI Goku to reduce it. Um, how should Kid play this? Because it's obviously the 01 skill comes this turn. Maybe just throw down Whis or something. Or just the blue Goku. He just needs somebody that he doesn't. Oh, he's throwing the Piccolo. Okay. I know he's got HP to spare, but uh, I don't know if I'd throw in the, if I'd have put the Piccolo uh, on the field. He's just such a good figure to keep. I'd have pro I'd have probably said the Blue Goku because then you could just put the field of being Whis, Piccolo, and then uh, Future Gohan sat behind him. All right, Trunks here should hit reasonably hard. How much is this going to be? Yeah, 11-6. That's good. So we're down to a straight 3v3. HP is similar, but... Kid's got that ultimate gauge. Oh, one skill future Gohan incoming. I don't think Santana can win this. I think this is GG for Santana. That Gohan's got too much speed. He's got way too much speed. It all comes down to a speed tie, guys. If Kid wins this, it's GG. And Santana will be out of the tournament. What an upset this would be. Well, he's got the 300. Has Kid got a 300? He has. GG. Well, he's got enough. GG, guys. GG. It's over. Well played, both of you. Uh, surprised to see Santana drop out. That's this means no offense to any of the people he's been against. They've all done great. They've all put in great performances to beat him and knock him out. I just didn't expect this coming in. Um, I blame Blue Gogeta. <laughs> but now, seriously, all of you have done a great job. I'm not going to take it away from any of you. I don't think uh, that would be fair to you. You've put on a great show. Santana, better luck next time, my friend. You're, uh, you're going to have to up your game, I think, a bit. 
But anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this. Let's all give uh, Kid a round of applause for getting through to the next round and Santana for being a great competitor so far. And stick around for the next video in a few days' time where we will have the next match in the loser's bracket, I believe. So thank you all again. I'll see you next time.